Hi, I'm Brian Sheets with American Rifleman Magazine, and you're probably wondering, you know, what's he got there? Is that the Browning 1911-22? Very similar, but in this case, it's actually the Browning 1911-380. This is a 380 that's brand new from Browning, and it is built essentially on the same size chassis as their successful 80-some percent model of the, the full-size 1911, the 1911-22. The big difference is this is a locked breech gun. So when this gun is in battery, it's actually locked up between the barrel and the uh, slide as a full-size gun would be. Uh, otherwise, essentially, it is a duplicate of a full-size 1911. There is an ambidextrous safety, and there are some uh, Novak-style uh, sights uh, on the rear. There's also a memory pad on the grip safety, and there's also a slightly proud magazine release. The other thing that's interesting about this gun is that it does have a magazine disconnect safety that acts off of the magazine release. So the magazine has to be in place for the gun to fire. It is a seven round 380 magazine, and I think Browning is, is rightly calling this the right size gun for a 380. Um, you know, guns like this have always been sort of uh, very uh, appealing because they're kind of miniatures of very familiar firearms. And in that sense, uh, this gun does have a lot of appeal. But I think Browning, and, and again, rightly so, probably hopes that there will be some people that will consider this gun for actual concealed carry beyond its role as just being a, uh, a fun gun to take to the range and to shoot. So with a, an overall size that's really convenient and compact to pack or to shoot and and believe me even though it is kind of a, a miniaturized version of a full-size gun it actually fits the hand really well fills the hand and is easy to stay on and 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 shoot pairs and repeats you know from shot to shot uh, the Browning 1911 380 has actually got a lot of utility over a wide range of uses you can take it to the range you can carry it, you can just use it as sort of a training gun for smaller stature or younger shooters that might want to learn the 1911 platform. All in all, it's a real winner. And the cool thing about it too is that it's made in the United States. So the Browning 1911-380, brand new, uh, is, should be available as you see this. So for more on the Browning 1911-380, visit AmericanRifleman.org.